You know, for a long time, the dream in AI has been this, an artificial mind that could read, say, an entire library of books in a blink and remember every single detail. But a massive roadblock has always stood in the way. Well, today we're diving into a new architecture called Kimi Linear that might just be the breakthrough we've been waiting for. So what's been holding us back this whole time? Why can't an AI just process a whole novel or a massive code base in one go? The reality is there's been this huge bottleneck, a fundamental problem of memory and just skyrocketing computational costs. All right, to really get why this is such a big deal, you have to understand something called the attention mechanism. It's basically how an AI decides what's important. You know how you might highlight the key sentences in a textbook? The AI does something similar. It pays attention to the most relevant bits of data. This is really the core of how these models think. But here's the catch. That brilliant mechanism, well, it has a critical flaw. Because as the amount of information you feed it grows, it creates this massive, massive processing power bottleneck. This slide really lays it out perfectly. On the left, with a short piece of text, like a paragraph, the standard full attention works great. It's fast, it's manageable. But look at the right side. When that input grows to the size of a long document, the whole thing just explodes. The system gets painfully slow, wildly expensive, and it just eats up memory like there's no tomorrow. So the technical villain here is something called the KV cache. The best way to think of it is like the AI's personal notebook. With the standard way of doing things for every new piece of information it sees, it just adds another page. You can see the problem, right? For long documents, that notebook becomes impossibly heavy, and it gets incredibly slow to find anything useful in it. So how do you fix a memory problem like that? Well, you don't just add more memory. You invent a smarter kind of memory. And that brings us to the core innovation we're talking about today, Kimi Delta Attention, or KDA for short. So what exactly is Kimi Delta Attention? Well, instead of just keeping every single note forever, KDA uses this really precise gating mechanism. It intelligently decides what information to keep, and maybe even more importantly, what to forget. This allows it to use a fixed size smart notebook that, get this, never grows out of control. The process itself is just brilliant in its simplicity. First, it takes in the information. Then, through this gating step, it decides what's actually important. Then, and this is the crucial part, it precisely forgets the irrelevant stuff before it updates its compact, fixed-sized memory. It's kind of like a smart student who constantly refines and summarizes their notes instead of just adding more and more pages. Okay, that all sounds great in theory, right? But the numbers, the numbers tell the real story. And let me tell you, the performance data here is seriously impressive. Take a look at this chart. These are results from the RUL benchmark, which is a really tough test for these long context models. See Kimi Linear, that bar on the far right? It's scoring an 84.3, clearly outperforming the standard full attention model. So it's not just more efficient, it's actually better at the task. And check this out. This number right here is the real showstopper for speed. When it's processing 1 million tokens, which you can think of as the words and parts of words in AI reads, it's roughly the amount in a very, very long novel. Kimi Linear is 6.3 times faster. So you're not trading performance for speed here, you're getting both. And this is how it pulls off that incredible speed, a 75% reduction in that heavy KV cache notebook we talked about. By literally ditching three quarters of that baggage, the model becomes lighter and so much more agile. I mean, this is a huge leap in efficiency. And just to prove Kimi Linear isn't a one-trick pony, look at this table. You might think, okay, these efficiency gains only matter for huge documents. But check out this data. On standard, short context tests for reasoning, knowledge, and math, it consistently outperforms the standard model. This thing is an all-around upgrade. So how on earth does Kimi Linear manage to get both top-tier performance and this incredible efficiency? Well, the secret, it's in its hybrid architecture. It all boils down to this really simple ratio, three to one. After a ton of experiments, the designers found this was the absolute sweet spot, the perfect mix of different types of layers to get the best blend of speed and power. So here's how it works. For every four layers inside the model, Three of them are these new, super-efficient KDA layers. They do all the heavy lifting for speed and memory savings. 
but one out of every four layers is still a traditional full attention layer. And that one layer makes sure the model never loses sight of the big picture, that it preserves that global understanding. It's truly the best of both worlds. Okay, so faster, smarter, more efficient. What does this actually mean for the future of AI? What does it mean for us? Well, it's about to unlock a whole new set of capabilities. So what does this all mean in the real world? It means more capable AI agents that can actually remember an entire long conversation or understand a complex technical manual from start to finish. It means we can interact with massive databases in real time. It means more sustainable AI that uses way less energy. And maybe the most important part, it's designed as a drop-in replacement, which makes it easy to upgrade the AI systems we're already using today. And hey, don't just take my word for it. The researchers say it directly in the report. The goal here is a replacement that offers superior performance and efficiency. It's a bold claim, for sure, but all the data we've just looked at seems to back it up. So all of this leaves us with this final, really exciting thought. For so long, the sheer size of an AI's memory has been this fundamental limit on what we could even attempt to do. Now that that bottleneck is being broken, what becomes possible? What massive, complex problems are suddenly within our reach?